Hello everyone, welcome to Skill Bell Tutorials. This is Arun here with the continuation of Liferay 6.2 plugin development tutorials. In the last session, we have seen how to set up the Java home and uh, the Java development environment. And now I have downloaded my Liferay plugins SDK and Liferay portal Tomcat server and Liferay um, ID with us, which is nothing but an Eclipse ID provided by Liferay uh, plugin development. So I have extracted uh, all those uh, development um, uh, uh, to some uh, folders named LR 6.2 and I have created that LR 6.2 shortcut uh, to my desktop for the ease of access and I also downloaded uh, MySQL community um, uh, version installer and uh, a MySQL workbench to um, uh, which is a tool for uh, operating over MySQL um, database uh, MySQL database so I'm going to install the uh, community edition uh, initially and while that is getting installed I'll try to open up the uh, Eclipse ID uh, which I got from um, uh, a life ray um, website um, which I have downloaded Now the in installer is um, uh, executing um, uh, its extraction process and all it, uh, it just need to configure the uh, MySQL database. Let's see which one is whether Eclipse or MySQL installer is working faster. So it's a, anyway, uh, there is no point in con uh, comparing these two things. I'm just um, uh, saying this words for um, while continuing this operations on my windows. Okay, now my Eclipse IDE is up and uh, I can navigate to my workbench and I can see the uh, um, Liferay plugin options here. So if I click this, it will open up yeah, the new Liferay plugin project and other options. So the MySQL installer is also ready now. So let me first uh, install the MySQL installer Okay, now I can see the license agreement of MySQL. I'm just clicking on I accept and going to the next. And this is going to be a developer uh, default. Um, I'm going to use that developer default one. I'm going to next. So uh, I will be choosing all this default things still 
have failing product requirements if you proceed those products will not be installed okay just click on now because i think i don't need any of uh, uh, these tools my sql workbench uh, i have okay let me choose my sql workbench and click on next okay so this my sql server will be installed and connector and my sql documentation okay all those things will be installed and clicking on execute so it executes some states and finally we will get the mysql database installed yes sql server is up it is incomplete and sql notifier is complete okay now three items got installed the fourth one is in 59 percentage 62 percentage okay i think all those installations got completed and i'm just going to uh, hit with the next and now uh, it is ready to configure and now clicking on next so it's a developer machine which is going to be a 3306 uh, port number So I'm just clicking on the show advanced options and clicking next. So I'm going to give a root password. I'm going to give some uh, secret password for me. Okay, I'm going to retype. So it's a weak password. So the user name should be a root. Okay, now I can uh, finish up things, check, okay, connection successfully. Okay, I click this once again, applying the server configuration. So running the scripts. Okay. Now my installation is completed. So I'm going to install my workbench now. Just click on finish. Okay. So now, anyway, I have uh, installed my uh, MySQL server, but uh, somehow my workbench uh, execution got uh, failed uh, because of some uh, uh, reason. Uh, let me just check whether my um mysql installation is actually successful or not 
let me check uh, it here somewhere my sql a mysql workbench i can see now this is not the one okay here i could see my mysql workbench okay so let me just open up this and see whether it's working fine or not. It takes some time and while that uh, time, um, um, let us pause the video uh, and record it again while uh, it is opening. 